Hi, we meet again in another series of Grounded in Grammar. I'm Ida, and you and I are going to spend the next few minutes learning about the English language grammar. What we have learned so far are the indefinite articles a uh, and an, and the definite article the. And now, we are going to take a look at another part of the English language, which is nouns. What are nouns? In simple terms, nouns are things. Nouns are divided into common, proper, singular, plural, collective, and masculine and feminine nouns. Today, we are going to take a look at the common and proper nouns with the help of our grammar teacher. Hi, Azri, and welcome again to Grounded in Grammar. Hi, Ida. I'm back again for sure. Okay, let's get started. The show is yours. Thank you, Ida. Hi, I'm Azreen, your grammar teacher for today. We're going to learn about common nouns and proper nouns. Let's see how they are correctly used in the English language. We use nouns in our everyday conversations and writing. That's why it's very important for us to use nouns properly. Common nouns are words for people, animals, places or things. These are the words for people. They are common nouns. Artist, acrobat, dancer, fireman, and astronaut. Another word for astronaut is spaceman or spacewoman. That's right, we do have spacewoman too, you know. These are the words for animals. Eagle, zebra, deer, crocodile, and bear. And these are the words for places. Beach, park, library, shop, and mall. And these are the words for things. Basket, drum, bed, blanket, and cup. Take a look at this sketch and see how our friends Rina and Iskandar use common nouns in their conversation. I wish I could be an astronaut one day. Well, I wish I could be a lawyer someday. Anyway, why an astronaut? So I could conquer the moon all to myself. You're being too ambitious, aren't you? Well, that's my dream, wearing the spacesuit, walking on the moon. Maybe I'll send an email telling you all my experiences there. Yeah, yeah, I'll look up for you with my telescope then, if I have one. The nouns that were mentioned in the conversation were Astronaut Lawyer The Moon Spacesuit and telescope. As expected, common nouns play a very important role in everyday conversations. Now, proper nouns are names for particular people, places or things. They always begin with a capital letter. Your name and the name of your friends are proper nouns. For example, Ida Rina, Iskanda, Muna, and my name, Azreen. The names of countries and their people are also proper nouns. For example, Japan, and the people are called Japanese. Egypt, they are called Egyptians. France, they are called the French. Thailand, they are called Thais. America, they are called Americans. The ethnicities in Malaysia are Malay, Indian, Chinese, Iban, Kadazan, Bajau, 
and sick, amongst others. The names of towns, cities, buildings and landmarks are proper nouns. For example, Hong Kong, London, New York, Paris, Beijing and Kuala Lumpur. The days of the week and the months of the year are also proper nouns. In days we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And in months we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. As you know, January is the first month of the year and Sunday is the first day of the week. The names of mountains, seas, rivers and lakes are proper nouns too. For example, the Thames, Mount Everest, Niagara Falls. Often, we use the before the names of oceans, rivers, seas and range of mountains. Mount means mountain. For example, Mount Everest and Mount Kinabalu. The names of festivals, some special events and holidays are also proper nouns. For example, Mother's Day, Father's Day, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Chinese New Year and Hari Raya Idol Fitri. Let's see how proper nouns are used in a conversation. Hey Rina, do you know what day is it tomorrow? Hmm, isn't it Sunday? I didn't mean which day of the week, I mean what is the occasion tomorrow? Oh, of course I know, isn't it Mother's Day? Oh no, I haven't got anything from my mother yet. I should probably go to Mid Valley now. And that's how we use proper nouns. We can identify a few that were mentioned, for example, Sunday, this is the day of the week. Mother's Day, a special occasion to celebrate mothers. And Mid Valley, a name of a building. And that's all for today. I hope the lesson has been helpful to you. Till we meet again, take care. Thank you, Azrin, for the well brief of common and proper nouns today. And hello again, everyone. As usual, revision is a must in our learning session. Keep in mind that revision will help us to remember what we have learned today. So, without wasting any more time, let's go over the common and proper nouns. For today, I have invited Rina and Iskandar to join us. Hi there, Rina and Iskandar, and welcome to Grounded in Grammar. Hi there. Okay, I'm going to ask both of you some questions on what our grammar teacher has taught us on today's program. So, are you both ready? Definitely. Definitely. Rina, please take a look at the screen. The sentence reads, Jake the fireman was recently promoted by his chief because of his brave act of saving a baby from a burning house. Could you tell us which words in the sentence are the common nouns? It would be the fireman, the chief, and the baby. Great! Now, do you have any idea why these words are considered as common nouns? Well, as our grammar teacher had explained, these words refer to people, hence making them common nouns. Exactly! Now, Iskandar, for your quiz, please take a look at the screen again. The sentence reads, Fiona loves to read books 
and often goes to the library with her friends. The library is not far from their school. Can you spot the common nouns in the sentences? They are books, the library, and school. Good! Now, do you have any idea why these words fall under the category of common nouns? Hmm, yes, I understand. Books represent things. The library and the school represent places. Nicely done, Iskandar. Alright, Iskandar. Can you build a sentence or two that has proper nouns in it? Malik spent his Haraya IDP trees alone, so he misses his family and friends back in Malaysia. Perfect! In the sentences, you have used a name of a festive season, which is Hari Raya Idol Fitri, and you also have mentioned the names of two countries, which are Germany and Malaysia. How about you, Rina? Can you give us your example? Hmm, the National Monument was built to remember our national heroes who fought for our independence marks the 31st of August 1957 as our Independence Day. Wow, that's great! You have used the National Monument, which is a name of a landmark. August was there as well, which is a name of a month in a year. And Independence Day, which is a name of a special event, which is our Merdeka celebration. Good job guys and thank you for being on the show Rina and Iskandar. Hope to see you guys again soon. That's all for today. Don't forget to tune in again next time to learn more about the English language in Grounded in Grammar. Thank you!